Hi there. In this video, I cover developing a process to decap a TO99 package for the 2019 Maker Fair. I just need a die image, but I'd also like to keep it functional if possible. Due to some difficulties, I also took this opportunity to explore a few new decap techniques. Our victim is a Fairchild Micro L914 dual 2 input NOR gate. Although I've decapped many ICs, TO99 only saw short use and I haven't encountered it yet. In a typical epoxy decap, I first mill a cavity and then repeatedly wash with hot nitric acid until the silicon is exposed. However, TO99's domed surface makes creating a pocket difficult. Additionally, my milling setup was initially unavailable, so I started by dremeling the top flat. Unfortunately, this severed the bond wires, so not a good approach. Next, I dropped a fresh one into hot white fuming nitric acid, WFNA for short, and vortexed it around until all of the epoxy dissolved. Unfortunately, this weakened the pins and subsequently resulted in broken bond wires from the pins rattling around. I need to either protect the pins during decap or remove sufficient epoxy before the pins are weakened. I took this as an opportunity to experiment with laser decapping. Generally, CO2 laser decapping is difficult, but I happen to have an ND YAG ablation laser that may yield better results. Unfortunately, while it worked well, my laser is too slow to be practical for most chips. Next, I fixed my stuck rotary table to allow milling a cavity. I start by tapping the chip into place until its top is aligned with the vise jaws. This gives repeatable results in case I want to mill more down. After that, I find the top surface by slowly lowering the mill until I hear chattering. I then zero the hand wheel to set a reference height. This gave an acid cavity, but it couldn't hold enough acid to effectively dissolve the epoxy even when hot. I also tried to let it sit at room temperature for hours, but it didn't see much reaction. I believe the slow reaction was caused by pure epoxy as opposed to epoxy with glass filler as on modern chips. Given how slow hot plating was, I went back to vortexing. I wanted to protect the pins from acid splashes and to ideally only eat the center area. To that end, I added additional epoxy, but it was eaten very quickly even after curing 24 hours. Silicone worked a little better, but was ultimately eaten faster than the package. This was progress, but not good enough. I revisited cold decapping, but this time provided more acid by half submerging into an acid bath. However, I was afraid the long WFNA soaks might degrade the steel pins, causing bond wires to fall off. So instead of straight WFNA, I added sulfuric acid to help inhibit corrosion. This is known as mixed acid. This produced a decent decap with minimal effort in a few hours, but caused the epoxy to swell and break the bond wires. So I went back to pure WFNA and also placed the package in a very gentle warm ultrasound to try to clear out residue faster. I'm theorizing that gentle shaking will help clear out removed package faster than it will break wires. I also coated the pins with silicone so they wouldn't get corroded and would also hold in place better. I checked roughly every 15 minutes with two or three passes required to remove all of the epoxy. This did a decent job at removing epoxy, but now I have a new problem. Modern ICs use silicon dioxide over glass to passivate the circuitry. However, some early ICs use silicone instead. I never came up with a good process to chemically dissolve silicone, but I recently had some success removing silicone from a t-shirt using solvents. So I tried soaking in lighter fluid, but even with ultrasound, the silicone wasn't fully removed. I also tried mineral spirits, but it didn't do any better. Unfortunately, the ultrasound knocked out a chunk of epoxy, damaging a bond wire. Ultimately, I just went back to mechanically removing the silicone with a very fine brush. This worked okay, but some combination of the brush and lingering chemicals caused minor surface damage. At this point, Maker Faire was approaching, and I decided to settle for good enough in that I had a decent image and microscope viewable samples. If I had to decap another TO99, I would do the following. 1. Cover pins in silicone. 2. Mill center cavity or entire surface flat. 3. Submerge top in warm WFNA, sonicating and checking at 15 minute intervals until all epoxy is removed. Four. Optionally sonicate in lighter fluid to soften silicone. 5. Gently clean silicone off with single hair brush. Thanks for listening. 
please post your questions below or comment on what video you'd like to see next.